Hey there everybody, it's Peggy. I'm back again with another video. Bitching and ranting about yet another topic that's near and dear to my heart. Well, not really near and dear because I don't really, I don't really care for my own repurposes, but I kind of like, I look at it and I go, ooh, this is kind of cringe. Anyway, anyway, what I'm talking about are those videos with the clickbait titles, how I made my first million dollars on Etsy. Or the other clickbait title, how to increase your sales by 5,000%. Isn't that awesome? Isn't that awesome that you're going to increase your sales by 5,000%? Oh, I need that one. What am I doing? Okay. So the rant that is near and dear to my heart is the clickbait titles that are just basically one of two things. They are self-advertising because amazingly, isn't it a surprise that while you get to, uh, I'm saying this as I'm working, which actually I was going to get back to work, but the camera was still out and I'm like, Hey, <laughs> okay. I'm not working on my, I'm not working on my business. I'm working, I'm making pillows for my wife right now. Anyway, so what they do is they start talking about, I made a million dollars on Etsy last year and you can too. And amazingly, you get to sit through a basically a uh, shopper's network for a uh, home shopper's network, home, sh home shop work, shopper's network, isn't that what it is? I can't even remember it now. You get to basically walk through it, sit through an infomercial of them telling you what they did, how they did it, how great their product is, how they're quali committed to quality, how, oh yeah, it's really great that I've got my next machine and I can take a hundred, you know, if you're getting stuff for your team now, I can get, you know, 30 to 50 shirts done in just a few days. You're sitting through an infomercial. She's not telling you how, she's not telling you anything about anything that matters. And I say she, because a lot of times, a lot of times the people that are doing this are, are women. And okay, it's not meant to be an insult to anybody. I, I, I would say easily 90% of the people on Etsy, and I'm guessing that would be translate to almost every other selling platform, about 90% of the people on Etsy are women. So if you hear me referencing women and women a lot, it's not some diss to women in, to women in general. It's just the byproduct of an environment that's almost that's almost all women selling. Anyway, I might as well pin this while I'm here. Anyway, so the thing is. What you're going to find is you're going to find one of two things. And as a matter of fact, I'm just going to up the ante on this. So you're going to find that you're sitting through an infomercial because this was never a video meant to help you. It was a video meant to stealth advertise. I've used the term stealth advertise before, I think. Basically, how I define stealth advertising. Sorry, I got, I got to throw these pins in because I'm, I'm, I've got, I'm, I'm, I'm making a pillow for Lisa. That's my wife. I'm making a pillow for Lisa and um, I decide I'm just, I'm just have, see, it's crap. <laughs> no, it's fine. I'm making a pillow for her. And if I don't pin these pieces down now, I'm going to end up do it, sewing it together all wrong. Anyway. Okay. So I have had either too much coffee or not enough coffee. I cannot focus. Oh my God. You couldn't pay me to focus right now. Anyway. So what's happening is you get in here. And you see a title, how I made my first million dollars on Etsy. I watched one per, I watched one girl do this. She had a video up, how I made $100,000 on Etsy. And then two weeks later, another video, how I made a million dollars on Etsy. It's like, this is fucking clickbait. Okay. People are clicking on these videos. You're clicking. Okay. You're clicking on my video with all good intention on your end to come in and learn something about how Etsy works or how selling online works. Right now, imagine if I say, how, I'll teach you how to make a million dollars on Etsy, but first let me spend the next 45 minutes telling you all about how great and wonderful my bags are and I'm just going to make this so great and wonderful and oh and here's here's all the reasons why you should buy from me and and then I'm going to get to the end and go yeah just persevere. That's not that's 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 an, you just watched an infomercial. Okay and 90% of the time and I see this a lot. I see this a lot. This is one of the reasons why I started why I decided to start making videos. I see this a lot. How I made how I made a how I made my first million dollars on Etsy, yada yada yada. And they they're talking, they're doing this video, and they're Etsy, 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 Etsy. You go through their comments. There's no fucking Etsy link. There is their there is their Amazon handmade link. There is their private website link. There is their affiliate link for every single product that they're using. So if you like if you like this pair of scissors, you can go and find my affiliate link and go fucking buy yourself a pair. I should actually think about that. Lisa does affiliate links sometimes. Anyway, that's a whole separate thing. That's all. Okay. And I get it. I get it. Okay. 
I do have my Etsy link below to just to prove that I actually have a fucking Etsy shop because the vast majority of these videos from people that are saying, oh, you could be like me and earn like me. They don't even have a fucking Etsy shop. They don't. They don't, they don't link an Etsy shop. They're linking their private website, their private blog, their private this, their private that. Their Amazon, they're, they're, link, they're linking everything but fucking Etsy while they're sitting there going, oh, I'm going to tell you how to make money on Etsy. Okay, so I'm going to full disclaim here. I'm gonna, I have my Etsy link down below. I don't give a shit if you buy from me or not. I really don't. Okay, okay. Anybody who's already encountered me in the wild before I started making these videos already hopefully knows what I mean by that. I already have, I already have a customer base that I enjoy of wonderful people that I enjoy, and I hope that they enjoy me. I hope that they still enjoy me after watching me act like this on this fucking video. But anyway, I'm semi-retired. I have more than enough business to keep me happy, healthy, and sane. I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to grow my business and take over the world. Maybe if I was 30, I'd be like, oh yeah, there's a link below. Please come and buy from me. I'm not looking for, I'm not looking for extra work or extra hassle or extra anything right now. If that link happens to get me a couple of extra sales, that's great. If it doesn't, that's great. I'm doing these videos because I happen to have a camera. I happen to have some experience doing YouTube. If anybody who's seen my wife's videos would know that. So it's like, I can do this too. And I'm just going to do, this is what I know. And I'm just going to do it because I'm getting sick to fucking death of seeing the constant stream of bullshit that's coming out these days from people who are, aren't, who are not interested in telling you a fucking thing and are just trying to get money for themselves. So I'm going to tell you right now, my Etsy link is below. You can go click on my shop. I'm only including it to prove that I actually have a shop, that I actually am who I say I am. I'm not, I'm not worried about whether or not you guys buy anything from me. Like I said, I already have, some of, the, some of you guys watching this are already people who have bought from me. And, you know, anybody who's bought from me, they know. I'm semi-retired. I'm not, I'm not. I'm not worried about growing. I'm not worried about getting bigger. I mean, that's fine. But back to my rant. So what I'm seeing in the wild is I'm seeing people going, I'm going to tell you how to increase your Etsy business, your Etsy, your Etsy, your Etsy. Oh, by the way, look below for my website. Well, if you're a fucking Etsy seller, where's your fucking Etsy link? Don't talk to me. Don't talk to me about your expertise with Etsy while your purpose is to infomercial me and then send me to your website to do business with you. It's like, I don't even know, I, I, I'm seeing so many, I saw, I have seen so many of these videos, especially in the last, well, since, the, since COVID hit, I have seen so many of these videos. These people are just, these people are just trying to build up their own businesses, period. They're trying to build up their own businesses and they're trying to do it. Okay, once you actually have the website, it can be cheaper Etsy charges fees. I teach, Etsy charges 6.5% plus 20 cents for the listing plus 6.5% on, their, on, their, on, their, on the sales. So yeah, if you're in a position to have your own website and can drive your own traffic to it, you will probably make a little bit more money doing that than you will on Etsy. I could fucking care less. I'm staying on Etsy. They're, they've been good to me. I'm going to be loyal to them. That's, that's where my thinking is, right? But the thing is, these people, these people, there's no indication that these people have ever been on Etsy have ever tried Etsy. Maybe they tried it. Maybe they tried it. They know a little bit about it, but they're not talking about Etsy or any other online platform in specific. They're talking generalities while they are showing you all about their business, all about what they do. Oh, and I've got this thing I can do, you know, uh, I, oh, I do embroidery and I can do hats and I can do this and I can do that. Oh yeah, it's been really great. Yeah. I make sure that I get my stuff done by the end of the day because I just set up this. It's like, you're telling me how you run your business. You're not telling me anything now. I, and I do, I show videos. Like I showed, I, I, I don't, I don't, I did show, I did show a video showing how to make the one bag that I sell, but I'm not trying to drum up business. And these people clearly are when you start, when you start getting used to the lingo and used to how they talk. But the minute, the minute you go down, if you see a video that's talking all about their, how they're, how they're going to help you make money on an online platform, Look in the comments below and make sure they're actually on an online platform and not trying to send you their private website, their private um, Patreon or whatever the fuck they're doing. Because most of these guys are trying to, most of these guys are just trying to sell you something. The other one is, I'm going to sell you that, I'm, I've got my courses, I've got courses that I'm going to, I have a course that I'm going to teach you how to sell on Etsy. Do you know what there's, you know what they sell on Etsy? They're fucking courses. I saw one woman last night. I was looking and it's like, oh, I wonder, I wonder, blah, 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 blah. I, I mean, 
I like my ranting, I like my raging, and something came up, and I'm like, I wonder if this topic's been covered. So I looked it up. And I found like six, this, this is what got me on my rant. I found like six different videos, every single fucking one of them. Every one of them, they were either an infomercial for somebody's product, or they were an infomercial for somebody's course. Pay for this course, and I will teach you the ins and outs of Etsy, and the ins and outs of this, and the ins and outs of that. The one woman, I'm like, this is fucking ridiculous. So I actually... People aren't that hard to track. If you're active on social media, you're not that hard to track down. I tracked down the one woman. She didn't link her Etsy shop, but I found it. You know what her Etsy shop was? Selling courses on how to improve on, on Etsy. She had no fucking product. Her entire product was how to do better at, X, at Etsy. This is not somebody who is succeeding at Etsy. This is somebody who is succeeding at convincing people they know how to sell Etsy. They don't. They know how to sell you a course. And they're selling you a course by pretending that they have got all this fucking Etsy experience. They don't. They are going, and I'll tell you right now, half of this shit you can get it online. Top 10 reasons why I should, blah. Name it, name it. N top 10 reasons why I should own a pet raccoon. You'll find a top 10 list for it. These are people that are culling the internet for basic generalized information, posting it online, uh, in videos, this is, something, this is something that I saw on YouTube. I've seen it on blogs all over the place, though. And they're not selling you anything. They don't have any expertise. They don't know what the fuck they're doing. They don't know. They, don't, they, they, don't, they haven't actually been there. What they've done is they've put... The, they're, either, they're either using their, using their I will teach you how to sell Etsy as a selling platform to sell their own stuff. Is that the QVC. Somebody said that was a online... That was a, that was a um, shopper's network type thing. They're, they're doing that at you. Anyway, when you see a video, a blog, a, a web page, when you see something by anybody telling you, I'm going to show you how I did this on Etsy and you can be as successful as me, check. See if you can find a fucking website. See if you can find an Etsy shop because you probably can't. You probably can't. That's the only reason why I'm listing mine below. It's like, I'm not an expert. The first thing I am going to tell you, the very first thing I will tell you and if I had the time to spend, I would put it in every single video. One size does not fit all. I can tell you what worked for me, and it may do the exact opposite for you. That's a possibility, and I will never lie and pretend that that's going... Anyway, I'm kind of being a self-advertising for my own videos, my own channel or whatever, but it really pisses me off when I see this because so many... Because then you see these people are coming around spouting this stuff, and it's so generalized that it's not helpful. This is generalized common sense information that anybody can go, well, that makes a lot of sense because it's common sense. And they are, they are presenting common sense as if it's nuggets of gold. So then when you try to add to that, people go, well, that, that doesn't make sense because that's just not, that, that's not in accordance. You know, this person said that if I do this, I'll make all this money. It's like, no, this person said this is how they made their money. Like, I'm not, if, if I just, if, I'm not going to make money by buying more sewing machines. I can only use one at a time. So somebody showing me how they have managed to keep six embroidery machines going at the same time does nothing fucking for me. It doesn't do anything for me and it doesn't do anything for my business. They're telling me how, they're telling you how they made their business quick and expedient and they're coincidentally, oh, and this is something new I'm just working on right now. Oh, and I got three of these done today and oh, over here. And like I said, that's stealth advertising. That is somebody who has found a way to get people to watch her ad, her personal ad. Now, more power to her if people are willing to buy from her because of that, but nobody's going to learn how to, nobody's actually going to learn how to run an Etsy business based on, based on what she's doing. And there was, there was a couple, there was, there was like three or four different ones doing embroidery. I don't know why embroidering things is, I guess maybe it's just a big thing right now because I saw like, like three or four different people, a couple of guys and three or four women that were doing embroidery. Um, and then the other, the other ones that I saw, the other ones that I saw that were, um, I'm, I'm, the other ones that were, I'm teaching a course, that's all they're doing. They're not doing anything else. They have no product. They are not sitting at home every day making a product. They are just, they have got a pre-recorded workshop slash class, and there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. But, but what they're doing, what's wrong with it is what they're doing in the way that they're getting attention on it. And I don't know if I don't know if I can explain this very well in any way that makes sense. Okay, okay. My wife is a professional tarot reader, and she does have some courses. Okay, but she's a professional tarot reader, does have some courses, and she's easily found doing what she does. 
Okay. She does the work. Professional tarot reader. And then the courses are happening, right? These people over here are going, here's my courses. And I've got nothing to back it up. There's no shop. There's nothing that indicates that they've got any experience. There's nothing. There's nothing there. There's just the courses. Okay. Now, in the community that we're in, in the, in the tarot community, like I said, which my wife has a few courses out there and people who know her know, know who I'm talking about, whatever, that's fine. Because I'm not trying to sell her stuff. I'm just trying to use her. I'm just trying to take advantage of her as an example. Anyway, if she were to just come up with courses and not do what she's already doing, nobody would fucking take her seriously. They'd be going like, so you've got a course, big fucking whoop. Who would want who would want a course from somebody like that, right? I'm say, I'm not sure that I'm expressing this well. So these guys over here are all over the fucking YouTubes going out of their way. And don't forget, you can pay to have ads to have your channel show up um, to get boosted, to get extra views and stuff like that. So they're doing whatever it takes to grow their channels. And a couple of these channels were pretty big. Not huge, not huge, but big enough, right? And they're like, oh, blah, 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 blah. Don't forget when you're doing Etsy, you should, when you're doing Etsy, you should look at SEO. Oh, and you should look at shipping. Oh, and you should look at, look at, look at the fees. Oh, and I've got a course. Oh, and I've been selling on Etsy for like, you know, 47 years and I've made $4,000 billion. But the only shop you're going to see is the shop that sells my course because I don't exist. I've never, they've never had a shop. They've never had a shop. They would have showed up. They, they would have. If you, if you are actually, if you are, if, if you actually, I've made money on Etsy and I'm going to talk to you about the ins and outs of Etsy, then have a fucking shop. Even if your shop is on permanent vacation mode. Oh, this shop's on vacation mode. But look, it did happen to open in 2007. I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't fucking know. I get on my rant. I get on my rant about this because I see these videos. I see this on YouTube. I see this all the fucking time. All of these people making all of these videos and, okay, okay, no, don't get me wrong. I've seen a few that were actually, I, I see, I've, I've seen other people that do exactly what I'm doing. So I'm not the only I'm not I'm not the only one that's like, hey, let's try to give people useful advice instead of just repeat the same tropes. Meat with no substance, or is it yeah, no substance. What's that word? There's a thing. There's a oh my god, I'm not as old as I want to be, I guess. There's a thing. Yo, I'll talk, I'll talk no action. That sort of thing. It's like, okay, so I'm just gonna hit on a few key points, give you no information that's actually useful, but by the way, there's a I have a course. That's not helpful. That is not helpful. So these people are selling their product, stealth advertising, and stealth, adver stealth advertising is a thing. I mentioned it in a previous video. It's where, it's where you're trying to sell baby blankets in a men's car group. Oh, tell your wives, or you, you know, where you're just blasting your shit wherever you can. So this is home shopping network for your product, and you're disguising it as a let me help you with your shop video. Or you've got a course to sell, because I could put together a course right now. I could go through the internet and pick up all this generic shit and put together a course. And I'm not going to. The information, the information is there and it takes work to find. And the reason why I started this channel is to try and bring it. Try, I'm, I'm, trying to bring, I'm trying to bring the information to the table and say, okay, here's the information. Now here's where you need to be looking at it. And like I said, some, some stuff is generalized. I did a video. I did a video on the math and the whole video was generalized. I couldn't I can't show you, I cannot say, do this, 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 and this, and you will know exactly what to do with your shop. I can say, this information matters, this is how you relate it to this information, but only you can decide what matters, right? Anyway, anyway, I'm going off on a tangent again because that's what I'm doing today. Coffee's just finally starting to kick in, and wow, okay. So anyway, anyway, I've been kind of noticing lately how hard it is to get actual useful information. Now, I'm going to be the first one to say one size does not fit all. So sometimes the information that you're looking for is not as easy to get. Like if you're asking for information on how to do your taxes, like, I mean, it's January. We're going to be seeing a lot of that, right? People are going, oh, when I'm doing my taxes, do I do this or that? And it's like, well, wait, if you're an American, you do this. If you're a Canadian, you do this. If you're living in the UK, you do this. 
if you have this going on, then you do this. And if you have this going on, you do this. So I cannot sit here and go, well, when you're doing your taxes, make sure you blah. Now I can say, I can say, when you're doing your taxes, make sure you understand that your expenses can be all of your expenses minus your earnings. That's your net, that's your net, that's your income for the year. And you do have to report your income on your taxes. But everything else is between you and you and a, you and a very large sheet of paper. Um, anyway, now I just seen a few of these. I've seen a few of these lately that are offering information that is so. A couple of them were offering information that was incorrect. It's like, oh, if you do that, you're going to lose your fucking shop. But go ahead and buy their course for two hundred dollars, because they're they're a successful Etsy seller because they sell courses. That's all they sell. They sell their courses. It's like, if you are, so I'm going to tell you right now, if you find somebody who does not have a net, who, who only has a private website link. Now people do these videos and they don't, they don't want the hassle on their shop. So they may not link their shop, but if they're linking a private website, it's because they don't fucking have a shop or they don't, they either don't have a shop or they don't want, or they're trying to get, or they're trying to move all of their business over to their website, but they're not interested in Etsy. They're not, they're not interested in any of that stuff if they've ever been on it at all. Because most of the rules from most of the rules for most websites are very generic, very similar until you get to the nitty gritty. And that's something else too, is that most of these people there, this is how you can make a million dollars on Etsy. And I hear them talking and it's like, they don't talk like somebody who's, they don't know the terms, um, not the terms, but they'll say, Oh, when you do blah. And it's like, but that's not necessarily accurate to Etsy's TOS terms of service. So what are you saying? They're, they're not, they're not correct in what they're saying or their information's outdated. Like maybe they had an Etsy shop five years ago and now they're just trying to drum up business. Now they're just strictly wrote their website. Anyway, I'm going to go in a big fucking circle on this and I've already been talking for over 20 minutes, but anyway, okay. So you go in and you see something If the information is too generic and I get it. One size does not fit all. So getting into the specifics can be hard. Getting into the nitty gritty as it relates to your specific niche can be hard, but if their information is so generic that you're kind of going, uh-huh, uh-huh, that makes sense. That's common sense. And then they have nothing that links back to, if they're talking, if they say they're talking about Amazon handmade, there better be a fucking Amazon handmade link for their shop. If they're, if they're talking about Etsy, have a shop, link their shop. Don't link your private, but they you know, here's my private website, my blog and my Patreon account. It's like, yeah, you're not interested in Etsy at all. If you ever were. Oh, well, here's, here's, here's my course. And if you want to find my Etsy, you know, here's my course. And if you want to sign up for my course, do so by clicking on my Etsy link and buying the course from my Etsy shop where that's the only thing I sell. It's like, they're not an Etsy seller. They're a course seller. They're just using Etsy as a, they're, they're just using Etsy as a way to make their business look legit. And then again, there's a couple of the ones, a couple of the ones that I saw last night that were doing that, you had to buy the course through their private website. And the Etsy shop was like, looked like it was pretty inactive. It was just there to, it was just there to prove a point and didn't actually, anyway, 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 whether or not, whether or not the information I'm giving you is helpful or useful, I hope that it is, but I know that it's not all. And I know that one size doesn't fit all. Anybody who's, anybody who's like, oh, if one size fits all and that's all awesome. It's like, you know, I'm making these scissors though. And I made these scissors. Look at, look at how I made the, I came out. Now that I'm out, now that I'm on Etsy, I can make my scissors like this. And these are my scissors. And, oh, and I, you know, and so while I'm telling you how to do shipping, here's my ruler. It's like, fuck that noise. They're not trying to sell. They're not trying to help you. They're trying to get you to buy their shit. I don't fucking know. I saw too many of these that were blatant, blatant, blatant. They were just blatant 30, 40 minute commercials. And it's like, don't fall, don't fall for it. If they happen to have information, useful information that you can use, fine. Take the information where you find it, but don't, don't go signing up for their courses and don't go buying their products and don't, well, I go, okay. Yeah. If, if you like what you see and you go buy their product, I guess they achieved one. I, I guess they achieved their goal, but they certainly aren't achieving yours. Anyway, that is my rant. Useless people not useless. I don't know. People coming in that are not interested in doing anything for anybody other than getting you to buy shit from them and claiming that they're helping you as a way to get to dry, to draw you in. So me, I'm, I just like to bitch. 
I just like to bitch. Here I am. Anyway, as always, like, subscribe, ring the bell, do the things, leave a comment. I'd love to hear your feedback. I'd love to hear your feedback on this one because I don't know. I, I just see, the, I see these other, not, I'm not, and it's not every channel. Don't get me wrong. It's not every channel, but the one, uh, there's, there's enough of them though. There's enough of them that it just pisses me off. It's like, these guys aren't helping anybody. They are just regurgitating old articles, old information. And like I said, some of them, some of them clearly aren't even on, Et they're talking about how, oh, here's how I made a million dollars on Etsy. And they've clearly, if, if they've ever been on Etsy, it's been a long time since they shut their shop down or got shut down because their information is outdated. Um, and there's no links. They're not trying to help you. They're just trying to sell you a course, trying to sell you a thing. And I get it. Some courses are helpful. Like I said, my wife, my wife has, has tarot courses, but she can at least prove that she knows tarot. She can prove that she knows her shit. These guys can't. These guys can't prove a thing. And anybody, anybody with a little bit of time and determination can go online and look up all this stuff and put together a bunch of information that other that they can then sell to other people. There's not there's no law against it, but are you gonna learn anything that's actually useful from it? Probably not. Anyway, I gotta stop or I'm not I gotta stop now or I'm not gonna stop at all. And with that I'm gonna get going and I already did I already told you guys so do the thing. I'm trying to take over the world one subscription at a time and I need your help. So until the next one, see you soon. Bye.